Hey, horse people. Man, this is just... I'm so tired of pit bull owners. Um, look, I'm a dog person, and normally I don't blame the dog or a breed. I blame the people. But pit bulls have become so predominantly owned by idiots and people that abuse them and train them and don't control them and think they're calm. And this shit just goes on. I mean, I, I, I'm at the point now to where the breed ought to be outlawed. You can't own it unless you have, you know, $50,000 worth of insurance or something. I mean, that, that breed is just, it does nothing but attack and maul. And, uh, you know, I'm going to have the people come here, I have a pit bull and he's so nice and, and he's lovable and how dare you blame the whole breed because of a, it. Look, it, it's a dangerous dog. I mean, time and time again. Um this dog attacks his freaking horse and tears it up, bites him over 15 times, tears his face, tears his throat, tears his leg, almost gets killed. The lady who owns the horse gets a broken foot and her head is busted because, the, you know, you, you put these horses in these situations and you don't protect them. And then you blind their eyes, you put these blinders on so they can't defend themselves. Then you strap them to a freaking carriage and they can't run away or defend themselves or see. Then you put a bit in their mouth and you got somebody holding a bit because they don't want the, the horse to run off. Meanwhile, the horse is trying to defend itself because some idiot has a pain bit in his mouth and won't let it defend itself. So there ain't, there ain't no good guys here, let me tell you. But let's take a look at it. So, I mean... Look, the woman is up here. This hoof is up here. The horse, you see the blinders on the horse? Horse can't defend himself. He has no peripheral vision. So every time this dog gets behind him, he can latch onto him, and the horse has no way to defend himself. He can't turn his head and look because he has a bit in his mouth with these reins going to his bit. So the horse is at the mercy of the stupid humans that put him there with their pretty pink little uh, uh, riding cart here. And, uh, of course, the owner of this supposedly is trying to get this dog. I don't know who the owner is. They end up putting the dog down, which I'm okay with. Um, so this dog is just relentless coming in, biting and, and attacking. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Latches on the horse's chest, neck, and face. Dog's getting thrown off. Every time you see that dog thrown off, he's pulling off parts of the horse's face. Kid's crying. Mom and everybody's on there. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. No, it's not okay. The kid's right. Kids should be scared. You all should be scared. Uh, you ought, I mean, I, I don't know. See, the problem is you jump off and the dog may attack you. I think I would rather jump off that thing than stay on it, but that's just me. Uh, nobody grabs his dog by the neck or shoves him or hits him with a bat or nobody has a gun to pull out because it's probably freaking in Liberalville where nobody wants a damn gun around, you know, until they need it. If somebody wants to call 911. By the time the cops get there, the dog will probably kill four people and the horse and people will be like, yay, the police came to save us. Freaking idiots. I mean, this dog, when he lunges, he lunges. I mean, he's going for the throat. So, you know, the, the horse is... This woman's trying to protect... She's putting herself in danger. If this horse runs forward... Again, the, the dog is so focused on this animal, pretty much nothing you're going to do is going to get him off because they're fighting dogs. And the idiot that owns them is probably trained it to fight and, uh, you know, to protect it because I need protection. And, you know, I, I can't tell you the number of houses we had to go to where idiots kept dogs tied up to a tree by the front door so the cops couldn't get in. And um, it's just pathetic. <laughs> I just wish that that damn horse would mess him up, but he can't. He can't defend himself because he's he's strapped with these poles and a. Oh, that's a good tip. Whoever threw that tip out, you get the gold tip of the day. Get the dog. Who would have thought of that shit? Come on, fat. Go. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, 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 wait. Don't move yet. Don't move. So again, big pain bit. Somebody's pulling on the reins. See the tight reins? Oh, I don't want the horse to run off, so I'll pull on the pain bit, keep the horse's head high so he can't defend himself. So the horse either gets bit by a dog and gets pain that way, or he gets pain from the stupid human not wanting him to run off, 
Meanwhile, they have blinders on the horse so the horse can't see and he can't defend himself because we put these stupid things on because it's cool and we go out there and make money with our horse. Freaking ridiculous. I got no, like I said, I got no pity for any of these people involved. Except the, except the horse. I wish the horse would have stomped this dog and broke his back. This dude would have spatula. Now, this guy's trying to help. I think this might be the owner back here. Uh, cause notice he doesn't come in here and get involved. Um, so, this guy with the spatula supposedly is a vendor. And he's trying to hit the dog with a spatula. Okay, raise your hand if you think this is an, uh, an effective technique to stop a dog attacking. Really? A spatula? Dude, why didn't you pull a feather out your ass and use the feather? I mean, I just can't believe this. Rick, he's trying to do the best he can. Man, I'd be kicking that freaking dog right in the gut right now. Man, I wish he'd stop me. He, this dog is messing this horse up. <laughs> So it latched on pretty good right there. You can see the blood. That's not the dog's blood. That's probably the horse's blood. And he gets a pretty good uh, latch on. See, he misses because he can't see. If he could use his eyes, he might be able to kick the dog and defend himself. But because he can't see, he's kicking air. And then I think the dog ends up latching on. Can't see. Dog latches on. Oh, man. What a shame, this poor horse. So he gets him pretty good right there, but he already latched on to his leg. I mean, he's he's latched on good right here. Absolutely outrageous. And when you're close to a horse's hoof like this, it doesn't do as much damage. If the horse would have been, or the dog would have been a few feet away and the horse kicked like that, it would have done a lot more damage. Because the dog is so close to the hoof, it's not doing a lot of damage. It's throwing him around and knocking him around, but it's not doing near the damage as if he connected when he had distance. Easy. Easy. Maybe this is the owner yelling easy, thinking, thinking he's going to come in and save the day with his macho voice. Easy. Yeah. Now, this girl or guy, whoever jumped on this dog around the head, man, I'm not putting my crotch around that dog like that. I mean, I, I'd have been on its back and laying on it and pinning it and grabbing it around the throat and neck, but I'm not putting my crotch in his head like that. Easy! Get the horse out of here, go! Oh, oh now he's yelling easy after somebody else has it. No, no, I can't. Easy! What's over here? Nobody has a pocket knife. They can reach over and cut that dog's throat, stab it in the neck. I mean, what? Nobody has a weapon now? Come on, man. Come on. There's another dog there? Are you kidding me? Whose dog is that? What, we want to we want to start another dog fight with another dog? Whose freaking dog is that? Is this lady laying on the dog or is she injured? I can't even tell. Hey, come on, baby. Hey, hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Run down there, run, run down there. Run down there. Run down there. Go down there with um, go over there with come on bet. Well, did this dude just step off the Titanic? Does he does he think the park's gonna like he think he's on an island and the island's gonna sink? Why the hell has he got a freaking life vest on? What the hell kind of park is this? Yeah, probably call an ambulance. She's got a broken foot. I can't see if this lady is laying on the dog or not. I'm thinking the dog's underneath there. I don't know where all the men are at. I can't tell if that's a man or a woman. Can't say anymore. Might misdiagnose somebody. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Thank you. 
Okay. If that was my dog, I'd be getting him in a car, getting the hell out of there. I don't want that pit bull attacking my dog. But then again, I'd have a freaking gun and a knife out, so it wouldn't get very far. Where's uncle at? Where's the uncle at? Maybe the uncle's the owner? Taking a shirt off, throwing it over the dog's head. That's a good idea. The dog can't see. Dude, if that was my horse, I'd be over there knocking those people off that dog and stomping his head in the ground. It's done. That dog, it, I ain't going to have to wait for somebody else to kill it. He'll be dead when somebody gets there. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. All right, I'm going to try to get in a little closer on this so I can see if some of the... I'm going to put it on slow play here. Sad situation, irresponsible people all around, owners putting a horse in a situation, pulling on a bit, pulling on the reins, putting people in there, loose dogs running around, dogs are, I mean, it's a bunch of people problems that animals have to suffer. All right, we'll end that there.